What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like the video if you appreciate the content that Poe Rowe and What's the Numbers I providing. Today, we'll be back with another profile piece on Albie Al. In this video, we're going to take a look at his early years growing up in New Jersey, where he would end up getting involved with rapping the streets at an early age. Then I will speak about Albie Al's murder charge and trial that will make local news headlines for years before focusing on his somewhat successful music career that he would embark on once being released from prison and returning to his old neighborhood. And lastly, we will highlight the details surrounding the case that once again has Albie Al behind bars facing serious jail time. Albert Robinson, better known as Albie Al, is from the Marion Projects located in Jersey City, New Jersey. Growing up in the projects and being around older family members, Albie would see and be present for a lot of street activities as a kid. Not too long after jumping off the porch itself, Albie would be arrested for the first time at the young age of 13 and charged with aggravated assault for allegedly breaking a kid's jaw during a group fight. That arrest would be the first of many as Albie was in and out of juvenile detention for the next few years, eventually doing time for multiple gun related charges all before the age of 21. But during this time, he would also have an interest in rap. Since young, Albie would battle rap representing his projects against rappers from other projects and areas in the city. Eventually, he will start recording music and freestyle videos that can still be seen on YouTube of a young Albie Al before the dreads spitting bars on camera with an aggressive flow. In 2008, after being released on bail for one of the gun charges, Albie would jump right back in the booth to start recording new music. He will release multiple mixtapes like The Gladiator, Welcome to Baghdad, and Welcome to Baghdad 2. As a result of his work at the catchy flow and realness on the mic, his music would start to connect with certain areas of the city a bit, and actually, created a nice little local buzz for the young rapper. But before Albie Al could take his music career to the next level, he will be arrested once again in the summer of 2010, but this time, it was for murder. The story that would be released by local news outlets was that Albie Al, who was 22 at the time, was accused of being involved in a large-scale gang fight where a rival was shot. They then accused him of going over to the shot rival, picking him up, and throwing him in the Hudson River where he drowns to death. For the next four years, Albie would sit up in jail awaiting trial, when finally, in June of 2014, he would have his day in court, and after a two and a half week trial, he would be found not guilty on all charges. But instead of being released right there from the courthouse, Albie had to sit up for another year finishing up his sentence for gun possession. Once released in 2015, Albie Al would come home with one thing on his mind, and that was to make music and finally take his career to the next level. He dropped his first official single in the summer of 2015 to good reviews. Next was more freestyles, interviews, and music videos that were all getting a good amount of views and positive feedback on the internet. And once Albie dropped his first mixtape since beating the murder charge titled Every Day June 30th, his stay and also major label CEO started to really pay attention to what the Jersey City MC was doing. Now even with all the good that was coming from the energy Albie was creating in his projects by having a growing rap career, there would still be some issues he would have to deal with like former rivals and new haters jealous of his success. In one situation in 2016, Albie was reportedly grazed by gunfire in a shooting in Jersey City. Not too long after, he took to social media to celebrate dodging serious injury, chanting in a Snapchat video, bullets must be blanks, cause they keep missing. The drama wouldn't slow him down though, as Albie would go on to release mixtape after mixtape, like Easy On Him, TS4 Goon, and Super Saiyan. The music was connecting, he was getting radio spins, interest on the internet and doing a lot of shows to the point everybody was wondering when and with who Albie was going to sign a major label deal with. But instead of dealing with the politics or worrying about who was going to come off him the biggest bag of money, Albie just decided to keep working and let everything play itself out. He would start preparing another mixtape named King Op, which at the time was how he was feeling in the city. Dealing with the loss of friends and even his own brother to gun violence over the years, Albie just felt like it was him against the world at that time and he was back in gladiator mode. He would finish up the tape and start getting ready to begin a promo run for the project when the law came knocking once again and arrested him in September of 2019. Albie, who was 32 at the time of the arrest, will be charged with two counts of attempted murder and multiple weapons offenses for his alleged role in a non-fatal shooting in Passaic, New Jersey, where two people were shot. He will be remanded to jail to basically sit up and wait until the court proceedings play itself out to know what his future will be. Throughout his most recent stint in jail, Albie has continued to release new mixtapes for his fans and his buzz is holding up pretty well. Many people in the industry are waiting to see if he will be released soon and get to continue his music career or if he will have to spend a significant time in jail as he's facing up to 20 years. Luckily for him, he's lawyered up with some money in the tuck 
that can give them a fighting chance in that courtroom. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV is a quick profile piece on Al B. Al out of Jersey City, New Jersey, Marion Projects. You know what I'm saying? When he came home, he started dropping those freestyles over the old, the old classic beats going crazy. You know, he got some of the Philly flow, especially if you watch his early videos before he went to jail for that murder. He was rapping like, you know, Reed Dollars in them. Like, you know, like all the Philly meek and how they was going crazy back then. You got to think, 09, 010, that's when the whole Philly and YouTube, they were, all the old DVDs they had out there hit YouTube. And everybody was on that Philly flow, especially Jersey. Jersey's right next to, you know what I'm saying? So he was on that Philly flow. Then he came home after the murder. He still had the aggressive flow, but he kind of, you know, found his own his own lane with it, his own little swag with it. And he was doing him, getting his little shows. You know, in New York, Jersey, you got the strip club runs. There ain't really too much show, shows unless you're like a major artist. But, you know, you do the strip club, get your little 2,500, 5,000, 10, whatever you're giving the rappers. You might do two, three of those a week, you know, four of those a week. You know, collect your bag. He was doing that, making his mix, dropping his mixtapes, you know, getting his little money, doing his thing. He did get locked up. You know what I'm saying? If you watch the interviews, he he don't look like the, the calmest dude in the world. You know, he look a little wild, like, you know, he's being into some things, but was he the one shooting everybody? I don't know. Was he just around people and getting so hard to distance himself? Maybe that's the case, maybe not. I don't I don't really know. I don't really know what's exactly going on in Jersey City streets, but I know it do get busy out there. I've been out there more than enough times. Oh damn, what's that? Kennedy Boulevard, I think, and all. I don't know. I've been to Jersey City a few times. It'll definitely go down out there. It ain't as nice as people live there. Some hood parts. The downtown area by the waterfront is nice and all that, but it do go down out there. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what happens with Albie Al. Free him. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he gets to come back home and do his thing. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's a quick profile piece on Albie Al. Follow the Instagram, Patreon, the merch, all that good stuff. The email's in the description. Get at me for the promo. And we'll be back before you know it. It's Polo, what's Numbers TV. We out of here. Peace.